Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with SPSS and more importantly non-parametric testing uh, is going to consider uh, a Wilcoxon signed rank test Okay, uh, this is a non-parametric test, it's, it's a it's quite similar to the paired samples t-test or the dependent samples t-test uh, and it's used in certain circumstances uh, more importantly uh, when the dependent variable is measured uh, either con is measured on a continuous scale or maybe when the dependent variable is ordinal okay uh, one of the preconditions associated with the Wilcoxon signed rank test is that the distribution of the differences between our paired observations, that that distribution is relatively symmetric. Uh, if we actually deviate away from that particular that particular precondition, I suppose what we should really be doing is a signed a, a signed test rather than the Wilcoxon signed rank test. A signed test being the more appropriate test when our distribution is not symmetrical. Uh, okay, so. In this case, what I'm going to do for us is let me just quickly run through the data set. Uh, I have an age variable here. We're not going to use the age variable. Okay. Uh, I have an exam grade before before an intervention, and I have an exam grade after an intervention. Okay. Uh, and the question that I have to, uh, that I would like to ascertain an answer to is whether there has been a significant change with respect to the uh, after grades compared to the before grades. Okay. So has there been some sort of change? And this is a classic paired uh, paired samples test uh, but what I need to check first of all is just the preconditions associated with this Wilcoxon sign rank test and to make sure that the distributions of differences between the before and after groups uh, are relatively symmetric and to do that I'm just going to create a new variable uh, through the transform option I'm going to call it compute variable uh, and I'm just going to call it difference okay and basically what the difference is going to be is it's going to be the after measure minus the before measure okay the after measure minus the before measure that gives the difference uh, so you can actually see here we've executed that particular command and the output you can actually see here that we have a different a difference measure uh, listed down here as another variable okay so i'm just going to go to graphs really quickly legacy dialogues down to histogram and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put the difference measure in here as my variable i'm just going to have a look at the distribution visual inspection of the distribution here of the differences and well you can see it very clearly here is that the distribution looks like it's symmetrical yeah okay uh, it looks very symmetrical actually okay so i'm happy enough now with my wilcoxon sign rank test that that's actually uh, the appropriate test to do in this situation Okay. Uh, so how do we undertake this particular test? Well, once again, it's a non-parametric test. Uh, I go to Analyze. I'm going to choose non-parametric tests. Uh, I'm going to go down to Legacy Dialogues. Uh, and what we have is we have two related samples. Okay, This is our paired samples. Our non-parametric paired samples options are here. So it's two related samples. I have the before, I have the after measure. Okay, So related samples, paired samples, dependent samples, all the same word, all words used to represent uh, the same the same concept. So it's for two related samples I have. So I'll click OK on that. Uh, and all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take my after measure, I'm going to put that in first, and I'm going to take my before measure and put that in second. Okay, and by default here I'm looking for the Wilcoxon, uh, the Wilcoxon signed rank test. As I said earlier on, if our distribution of differences, okay, if the distribution of differences was not symmetric, okay, uh, we couldn't rely on the Wilcoxon uh, signed rank test. Uh, we'd have to go for the signed test. Okay, uh, it's just uh, it's it's just a test that's I suppose more suitable for when the differences between our befores and our after measures, our paired observations, uh, deviate from from symmetry uh, okay so that's basically it let's see what options we can get out here okay we can get descriptive statistics and we can get the quartiles okay in particular the median values uh, the null hypothesis in this particular situation is that there's no difference between the before and the after measures okay no difference okay or the median the average me I suppose I'd be probably better off saying that the average median before is the same as the average median as is the same as sorry, the median before is the same as the median after yeah that there's no difference between the two medians okay uh, so let's just keep that in mind that's the null position for us to move away from the null position uh, like in all of our tests uh, we're going to rely 
apply upon the p value and if the p is low the null must go uh, which for us our significance level is going to be set at 0.05 or 5% at the 5% level so any p value less than 0.05 is going to suggest that there's evidence uh, it's going to be suggesting that there's evidence uh, that there's a difference between the before and the after measures okay so that's it basically we're ready to go I'm just gonna hit OK now and then we're gonna get the output okay and you can see the output that we're at to get in here okay um, if we just fire straight down into the test statistics table you can see that we have this measure here asymptotic significance two-tailed okay and the p-value here this significance value is 0 0.000 which is less than 0 0.05 so in this situation, there is evidence to suggest that the two medians are different, okay? And that's important, yeah? And that the medians of the two groups uh, actually have different values. Uh, and actually, you can probably see here, yeah, as well, though, just when, when, when we look at that here, so we have the exam, the exam, exam grade before, minus exam grade after, the negative ranks, the positive ranks, okay? Uh, we can see that we have the mean ranks here. Uh, we have, the, no, don't forget, this is before minus after okay so before minus after the negative ranks are huge 1296 the before minus after which would indicate that there's been more more of a a change okay? i know this is a little bit sort of abstract to try to see yeah okay uh but the after measure is actually bigger than the before measure in which case this actually becomes negative and the negative ranks is a lot bigger than the positive ranks in other words there's been more change towards the negative direction than the positive direction but let's keep that in mind uh really what we're saying here is this is that from a negative ranks perspective yeah that the grade after is actually bigger than the grade before okay uh, so that's sort of gives us an idea of the directionality uh, associate with this particular test okay but i mean the key thing here for us is this is as our asymptotic significance value it's 0 0.000 0, uh, which would indicate to us that there is a difference between the median values for the for the before group and the after group yeah actually the difference between them as we see here yeah these differences yeah between the before grade and the after grade are actually different okay so guys once again uh, this is jonathan lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the national college of ireland uh, and I hope that this particular video was in some way intuitive and more importantly, I actually hope that was helpful for you. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.